Before the Walt Disney Company, animation was limited to simplistic black and white photos with no sound. Disney created a company that would soon, through various technological innovations, produce cartoons that combined sound, color, and moving pictures, therefore breaking the barriers of animation for future generations. The company did this by influencing television shows and other forms of entertainment. They did this with their realistic films that were developed through their original, advanced equipment. The Walt Disney Company originated due to the partnership of Walt and Roy Disney and Oob Eworks in 1923 in Hollywood, California. They made cartoons featuring all different characters including the most recognizable, Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, to entertain the public. With these evolving cartoons, the company needed technology that would keep up with their ambition. In the early 1800s to the early 1900s, there were various forms of technology used to create animation prior to the rise of the Walt Disney Company. The Thaumatrope, invented in 1824 by John Ayton Paris. It was a cardboard circle with two holes on opposite sides and an image drawn on either side of the disc. Strings were threaded into the holes and twirled, then released. It spins rapidly, making a single image between the two sides. The Phenakistoscope, invented in 1832 by Joseph Plateau, was a spinning cardboard disc with images created by reflecting it in a mirror. Through this distortion, it appeared as though the image itself was moving. Shortly after this invention, in 1833, the Zoetrope, invented by William Homer, allowed more than one person to view the moving images at the same time. In 1868, the Kineograph was invented by John Barnes Lynette. The Kineograph is more commonly known as the first flipbook. It used a linear sequence of images in a booklet. These early forms of animation mostly consisted of paper, cardboard, and mirrors. As the years went by, these short clips went from a hard copy to being projected onto a screen. Moving closer to the end of the 19th century, Etienne Jules Murray invented the first portable movie camera. He created a rifle-shaped camera that took rapid photographs that could be turned into moving images. Then, Thomas Edison, along with Murray, invented the kinetoscope. It was the first movie camera and early viewing device. A few years later, in 1895, the Lumiere brothers showed the first movie to a public audience. It is clearly shown that before Walt Disney Animation's technology was in simpler forms. The Walt Disney Company came along to break this barrier by creating short films that featured their new technologies, making the videos more realistic and colorful. The first seven-minute cartoon series, Alice in Cartoonland, released in 1923, and the later Mickey Mouse cartoons featuring the first sound and music-equipped film, are two significant examples of how the Walt Disney Company greatly improved the quality of animated cartoons. In November 1928, the Walt Disney Company released Steamboat Willie. It was a groundbreaking piece of animation because it was the first film starring Mickey Mouse to be released with synchronized sound, finally distinguishing Disney's cartoons from other competitors. It threw silent animation out the window and created an empire of increasingly modernized cartoons. In 1932, Flowers and Trees was released, which was the first cartoon to be produced in color. The Walt Disney Company signed an agreement with Technicolor and used it in this film. Soon, all Disney cartoons would be produced in color. Members of the Walt Disney Company have contributed to breaking the barriers in animation by creating the technology used in the cartoons and making them more advanced. One piece of technology was made by the Walt Disney Company's very own Oob Eworks. He created the first multiplane camera in 1933. After three years of hard work put forth by an entire crew, this camera would be able to create an illusion of depth in animation motion pictures. It is the blueprint of a piece of equipment designed to make cartoons more realistic and enjoyable. Soft focus effects were created in the background, illuminating the level of scenes and separating the background from the foreground while keeping the background objects to their regular size. This 11 foot tall, 6 foot wide multiplane camera contained four vertical steel posts, each carrying a rack of eight carriages that were able to shift both horizontally and vertically. Each carriage contained a frame with a sheet of celluloid, the part of the action or background would be on. In the words of Walt Disney himself, the invention revolutionized animation, forever making cartoons more realistic and enjoyable. This broke barriers in the field of technology for animation by adding depth and allowing the layering of virtual figures. The multiplane camera was used in the film Snow White and the Seven Dwarves in 1937. It won an honorary Oscar and multiple other awards, including the New York Film Critics Circle Special Award. This feature-length cartoon fantasy earned $8 million, 
which was an astounding amount at the time, therefore breaking the barrier of the success rate for screening movies. Mary Poppins, released in 1964, was an especially subversive film. It included a combination of hand-drawn animation and live action. The Walt Disney Company hired engineer and inventor Petro Vlahos to make their visions come to life. At the time, a blue screen, similar to today's green screen, was used to isolate the subject from the background. However, this method had many issues because the actors could not wear blue or it would disappear into the background. Considering this, Vlahos chose a screen that was illuminated with a yellow hue from sodium vapor lights. The specific color was chosen because it had a smaller range of wavelengths and allowed for better accuracy when isolating a subject. Using this method, there were no limitations on the colors of props and costumes, therefore breaking barriers in animation. Also, unlike the blue screen, which required tampering with the actual film strips, Vlahos could do everything within the screen. He did this by creating a unique prism that was designed to isolate the yellow hue from the rest of the colors. This type of technology has changed the face of animation, and was desired and fought over by other animators. The Walt Disney Company also directed their films towards other purposes besides from entertainment. Barriers were broken when the company shifted their intentions by discussing political concerns such as war, which was never done in early animations. For instance, in the short film, Donald Gets Drafted, the topic of war is illustrated by showing that it is an honor to be drafted and to fight for one's country, therefore promoting nationalism. They were also the first company to use television to educate the public and influence later films. The Walt Disney Company used their films to enlighten people during World War II. They made films featuring military training, educational short films, and military insignia. This made the Walt Disney Company a brand symbol for America representing patriotism, and led to them partnering with the government to make more films with the intention of encouraging Americans to do their part on the home front. Since the Walt Disney Company presented a new way of education through their short films, this new form of guidance plays a significant role in modern-day schools, implying that the Walt Disney Company contributed to the shaping of school systems. That being said, teachers would often supply their students with a video as a way of offering an alternative perspective to understand the concepts of the lessons. Thus, the Walt Disney Company broke the barriers of animation by providing another purpose for animation other than entertainment. As the timeline continues, animated movies and shows continue to be released at new levels of sophistication. Toy Story, released in 1995, was the first ever computer-animated 3D feature-length film. Computer scientists at Pixar even had to build the software used to create the Toy Story movie. This allowed animators to add details, making the toys look more realistic, and made the objects in the movie perfectly geometric. This wouldn't have been possible without this program. Tangled, released in 2010, blended 3D and 2D computer graphics. The film features a technique known as a hold, which is a common practice in 2D animation. The animator will slow a character into a pose and hold that pose for multiple frames. This couldn't be done with the 3D technology used to create Tangled, however, and so the animators had to blend these two systems together. Also, creating the approximately 70 feet of hair on her head required newer computer graphics of hair simulation. The technical team developed a system that combined rig-based keyframe animation with hair simulation. This allowed the animators to control the poses, motion, and silhouettes of the hair. Finding Dory, released in 2016, featured technology that accommodated low vision and blind audiences. Viewers were able to follow the narration with the Disney Movies Anywhere app, which syncs with the big screen presentation and the audio description, so users can hear a descriptive narrative as well as the film's original audio. This is something that has yet to be done in the field of animation. The world recognized the Walt Disney Company's strides in animation techniques as they received a total of 32 Academy Awards and were nominated for 59. Over the years, animation has endured multiple alterations in the quality of the films. The most drastic changes were produced by the Walt Disney Company. They consistently pushed the limits of animation and set the tone for new future animated films. By evolving from simplistic short clips, the Walt Disney Company added synchronized sound and color, using the concepts of depth to make their cartoons deliver an overall realistic experience. Following in the footsteps of the Walt Disney Company, more and more animation companies were founded, such as DreamWorks Animation and Industrial Light and Magic. The Walt Disney Company broke barriers by not only limiting their films to just the entertainment of the public, but also educated people about real-life topics such as war and other political issues, providing people with another way to learn about what is happening in the world. Overall, the Walt Disney Company changed multiple aspects of animation that has made entertainment into the advanced films that they are today. Thank you.